Football manager players often spend so long in solitude that they forget the feeling of grass, a wind through their hair, or the idea of social interaction at all with anyone at any time. This is their natural habitat, in a constant state of struggle, building their frustration one tactical tweak at a time until it bubbles over into rage quitting the game and returning with shame weeks later. But there must be evolution, and there is now evolution in Football Manager. We've been asking for it for years, and Football Manager has created a much better system for being able to play against your friends, play against other people in Football Manager in a variety of entertaining ways. Two of three we are going to cover today, and then one is going to have its own video because it is a completely brand new section of the game. And it is something that is still being fleshed out and is actually in repairs right now. But the other two sections of the game have been significantly vamped up in a way where if you watch for something like the FM Streamer Showdown, for example, something like that, you can have that sort of competition with your friends to figure out who is the best football manager. Because that's what we all really want to know. In order to find these game modes, you go right in here to start a new game. Now you can start an online career. If you click on that, you're going to get hit with a wall of stuff. But what this allows you to do is play a save with other people. This feature has existed in the game for years. It's just a lot more user friendly now. So how does it work? Well, you can first set who can join the game, which you can go friends only or just leave your game open to anyone. It also has epic cross platforms. So if you log in on there, you can allow friends to join from the epic game store as well. If you haven't found a community to play Football Manager around yet, we do have the biggest Football Manager Discord in the world, full of a bunch of awesome people that love talking about the game. And there's a subsection of the Discord right here, where if you join that subsection, you can find people to play Football Manager online with. And this screen is actually more thought out than you would think. For one, if you want to play with anyone, you'll actually be able to set the normal times that you will be able to play. This time is converted to the local time of whoever is seeing it. So if you want to find a great community of people to play with, maybe play a save with four or five people who you just met for the first time, well, then you can do that and you can put up the times every day that you would be able to host the save and then it would be played. You also have the ability to speed up the game in a variety of ways from forcing people to have their assistant coaches at press conferences, disabling the control of friendly matches, disabling importing tactics and shortlists, which prevents people from cheating. At least they have to go through a lot more loopholes to do it and disable following of other humans, which as it says in so many words, if you follow the other person in the news section of the game, then you actually get advance notice on their transfer dealings and stuff like that. You can change the time that the match scheduling is going to happen using Saturdays and Wednesdays is generally a good idea. Get your matches in at the same time. You can set the highlight mode that must be in place so that the games go by faster and you can set the lowest possible highlight speed and replay speed that is allowed. All of these things helping to expedite the game and force your friends who might not agree with you to do the things you want to do because you, they don't know how to host a game and you were the one that watched this video. So congratulations to you. Really? Seriously? High five. Five stars, man. Your Yelp reviews are great. So are mine, by the way. Gretchen from Iowa says, my grandson has that hair. Thank you, Gretchen. Means a lot. I do it for the fans. What, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm doing it for Gretchen. That's what I'm doing. Then there's the holy grail here at the bottom. You can actually set an amount of time where the game will automatically continue. So browsing, you know, you can say, well, after five minutes, you can create a custom time in match after it has to continue. So you can only tweak your tactics for 30 seconds in a match. Unresponsive. You can read. There's even a feature inside the game where you can request to stop. And let's say if 60% of the people in the game request to stop or over that, then the game will stop for two minutes, however long you set here. And then after that, what I must admit is a fantastically well thought out list of things that will help. You get to pick your first team. This is whoever I want to be. I want to be in England. And I'm going to be Aston Villa. And I'm going to go to advanced setup here. And this is exactly the same as anything else that you do in this game. Right? I mean, this is this is no holds barred. This is getting on down to business now. You can load up any sort of database you want to load up into. And uh, I'm going to load up a real small one. But you can you can load up a real big one. You can load up a, uh, a real humdinger of a, uh, of a database. If that's just what floats your... Uh, 
that's just what floats your pontoon so we're just gonna go ahead and do that and we're gonna go ahead and click start game so that you can see what this looks like ain't nothing but a thing so next we just go through the profile creation nothing unusual here just like you're starting up a normal save then you go through your meeting like it's a normal save and then you save it like it's a normal save and then once you reach this screen the game is joinable to anyone that can find and you have allowed to see the server name and the password name from the option on the main screen where it says join online game so it's really not that hard to set up and after they've made their manager the first time they will automatically assume the role of that manager the next time they come into the online game if you want to see this sort of thing in action i actually stream a network game with dr benji work the space in the lujo every thursday on twitch links down in the description and on the way down to check out that twitch link which of course you're doing right now there's a subscribe button if you haven't hit it yet we'd really appreciate it what about the second one? We got Fantasy Draft. And this got a monster, monster overhaul that makes it so fun to play. So you go into your Fantasy Draft. You can join a draft, obviously, if you're not the one that created it. This is how you join a draft. You can quick start, which will either join an available draft or it will create a new draft that's available to other people. Or you can actually go out and create the draft yourself. And this is where things get very fun. You are presented immediately with three different options. What you can do in Fantasy Draft is create a pool of players to pick from. Then you can create a format for the teams that are drafted to play against each other. So you can go group stage and knockouts, just do a knockout, or you can go play a league. You can pick the database that you're going to use. And so you can even do fantasy drafts off of custom databases if you want. For stuff like group stage and knockouts, you get to pick the format. You can have two groups of four, four groups of four, eight groups of four, two-legged ties who can join right it can be a hot seat game it can be the friends you have online and of course you can play with anyone you even can change the amount of time you have to shortlist players for the draft the amount of time you have to actually draft and your budget can be anywhere from 14 million us dollars to 973 million us dollars or you could just click unlimited and draft anyone here is where you can change the draft competition names so zealand's test going strong and you can play with a world pool of players or you can create a custom database inside of that database on the right so this is our full game database and this is just taking the highest reputation players in the world it's basically just all the players that you might know already there but you can go into the custom database you can change everything from the transfer value of the players to getting players from specific divisions all over the world including like everywhere from the Djibouti and premier division to wherever based in a particular continent region you can have all the players based in europe what have you or the specific nationality of any country in the world you can draft with specific nationalities from say the country you and your friends are from and a couple of other countries around it whatever you want to do so once you decide like which players are going to be there let's say we just want players from austria and they are at least 500 000. that's what we need that and england you can also click over here for more you can use var or not use var or stagger the fixtures and the number of yellow cards for suspension is also an option over there and you can click find more down here and literally be taken to the steam workshop where you can find a database that you would want to use it's a very useful screen i did just discover that it keeps adding these weird conditions down at the bottom so if you ever see any weird box like knocked out box conditions you you saw what they were just delete them and you want to make sure your player count feels accurate this is all the english and austria players in the world that are worth over five hundred thousand dollars in transfer value it's about 1200 which sounds right At the bottom here i can create a little online password if i want to but i do not want to do that you can add restrictions for the draft like say from the first to the fifth you get the idea you have to pick from this nationality for the first five picks so you understand when I mean, it says first to fifth those are your picks like everybody's first everybody's second everybody's third it's not the first five picks of the draft or else that would be a lot longer then once you've created any restrictions like everybody has to be over six feet tall then you just click ready to rock and roll you select your manager and then you create a club i've obviously already created mine because i'm playing in the streamer showdown and then you click confirm and then you wait you can invite friends you can add ai coaches or hot seat managers because obviously you need to be able to do that if you're playing on one computer and once you fill up the appropriate number of people or if it's a knockout however many people you want to be there you're good you click begin draft and let me just add some ai coaches to begin the draft once you begin the draft you see the austrians you see the english players and you can create a short list you can select you know search and select all the players in all the different ways add the attributes you're looking for whatever once you draft a player there'll be a third segment that pops up called current squad 
here's a look at what like my current squad looked like for the streamer showdown draft that I just happened to do earlier today. You pop out of that and boom, you're playing whatever tournament you've set up. It is a blast. And hopefully I can see you this weekend of the streamer showdown. If you missed the last streamer showdown or want to get a feel for what it is like in general, here is a complete and very edited down version of my entire weekend when I won the entire streamer showdown tournament. So feel free to check out that video and I will hopefully see you on Twitch this weekend or on another video or just in the discord or something.